Right. Okay. So, I've now got to the point where I've like looked up a floor chart of the last remaining like different endings that are left at this point. So that's now, where I'm at. The embrace of an old friend, a withered companionship that stands the test of time. So I've got a few to go. I don't know if that counts as one. <laughs> but we might have gone mad. Stanley clutched the bucket a tightly to his chest. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, but Stanley had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was <laughs> simply the place to be. Now, apparently... And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? Was this better than the meeting room? Yes, Stanley thought to himself. Yes, perhaps it truly was. Oh. How insightful the bucket turned out to be. Apparently, there's a vent somewhere around... Uh, between here and the cargo lift, there's a vent. Now, just to figure out where exactly it is. Truly, being here with the bucket was a grand adventure. <laughs> Stanley reflected on all they'd been through together. First, walking through the door on the right. Then, walking to the lounge. Then, arriving at the lounge. What a thrilling journey the bucket had inspired. No, <laughs> never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door on his left to go back to the meeting room. And so the two of them detoured through the maintenance section and walked straight ahead to the opposite door. I'm trying to figure out where the hell this vent is supposedly at. Hmm. <coughs> it may require me to restart it now. Because <laughs> I think I've gone off uh, off track. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley so decided back in to the go to the meeting room. Now. Perhaps he had simply missed a map. The bucket made Stanley want to be a better man and a better co-worker. In time, perhaps he would become both. And apparently, that man. does something as well. I'm not entirely certain how we get it, but <coughs> my assumption one was Stanley that one would appear each time. To his chest. But and this was not the correct way to the meeting room. Hmm, but Stanley right. had felt the bucket calling to him, telling him that the employee lounge was simply the place to be. And here it was. Had the bucket turned out to be correct? No, never mind. The bucket was wrong. Stanley took the door Here we go. to go back to the meeting room. Now. No, said the bucket. Don't go to the meeting room. Go somewhere else. The cargo lift, yes. Go there. Go to the cargo lift. Oh. Do we see that? I see that. Aha. Uh -huh. You're getting close now, Stanley. You've nearly gotten all of the Figler and Marines. Very soon, you'll collect the last <laughs> one, and then the first number will equal the second number, and that will be it. We'll be different people by then, different in the sense that we used to have none of them, and now we have them all. You can't go back to when you had no Figler and Marines. None of us can. <laughs> Big Figler and Marines. Okay, um, I'm fairly certain that, oh, I guess we've found the vent. We're going to, I'm fairly certain we're trapped here now and we're going to die horribly. Oh, but no, here we are. Is, is this new? I'm not certain. 
Ah, that was the figure where it said a room with many boxes, wasn't it? That delivery warehouse. Okay, this is day number 295. Take number. I don't even know. I've lost track. Nothing feels real anymore. The longer I study this bucket, the less sense. Anything makes the sheer euphoria I feel every time I pick it up. No matter how many times I've done it, it's always the same feeling. And the emptiness in my chest when I set it down doesn't make sense. There's no explanation for it. I still haven't figured out why I see the world so differently when this bucket is in my arms. Why everything feels so... What do I do with this treasure? I can... I can monetize it. <laughs> it's unthinkable the amounts of money people will pay for even just an hour with the bucket. This is my golden ticket. But I have to be careful, because as soon as this gets out, there's going to be a target on my back. Even now, I don't know who might be trying to get me. What's that? Who's there? Come Well, Stanley's dead. <laughs> We've been murdered for the bucket. It's gone. <laughs> All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? Hmm. I mean, it looks like my office. Not everyone is so lucky to have a bucket, but Stanley is a very lucky fellow. Very lucky indeed. Hmm. Okay. Oh, wait. Ah, yeah, I, I know Stanley what we can do with bucket. the bucket tightly to his chest and entered the door on his left. Oh, do I? Yeah, yeah. We can do the normal ending with the bucket. See what we get for the normal ending. We just run off into the sunset Coming together to with the bucket. Stanley and the bucket walked upstairs to the boss's office. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Crushed by the... But Stanley guessed the correct code by sheer luck. Was it that the bucket knew all along? Was the Here bucket we go. guiding him? Yes. This is certainly the most logical explanation. Normal ending with the bucket. <coughs> now I'm going to listen to the tape deck without the bucket. And then we're going to see if we can find the last, uh, what do they call it? Finley? Stanley and the, the bucket walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley and the bucket both wondered to themselves. And now for the good ending with the bucket. 
monitors jumped to life, and Stanley nearly dropped the bucket in shock. Everyone in the office was being videotaped, monitored like guinea pigs. Hmm. The bucket <coughs> had never seen anything like this, and it very nearly burst into tears as Stanley cradled it gently, reassuring it that everything would be fine. If a bucket burst into tears, does it just fill itself up? Was the bucket under the mind control facility's influence as well? Does it just Had become a self-filling bucket? To things it didn't wish to do. What <laughs> kinds of things does a bucket want to do or not want to do in the first place? These questions raced furiously in Stanley's feeble mind. No! He screamed into the bucket. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? <laughs> Never! He squeezed the bucket tighter. His one friend in the entire world. At this point, he could trust no one except for the bucket. Right. But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Control the people with emotions. Say, awaiting happy, input. Or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he and the bucket would dismantle the controls for good. Two best friends, Stanley and the bucket, up against the world. They high-fived <laughs> in a really cool way, and the bucket made a sassy comment about taking down the system. Right, bucket, let's go. We've got a system to turn off. Stanley and the bucket waited in blackness. Was it over? Yes, they had done it. Stanley and the Bucket had defeated their greatest and darkest enemy, freed themselves from the tyrannical grip of the evil mind control machine. Freedom was now mere moments away. Excitedly, the two of them began to discuss the kind of life they wanted to live. Once well, there they we go. Through this We're going into the door. sunset with the Bucket. The bucket wanted to learn to roller skate. Stanley what? wanted to sneeze in every country on Earth. What? <laughs> Both of them wanted to begin watching a movie, any movie, but then stop it halfway through and begin watching it in reverse from the end. True, it was a simple <laughs> life they envisioned, but it was one they'd lived together, with one another to lean on, to trust, to support, and help. Well, wait, what was um. happening? Why had the door stopped? Was Stanley and the bucket not about to be freed? An unbearable silence filled the room, lingering in uncertainty. Until finally the truth hit Stanley square in the face. This building did not want the bucket to leave. Uh oh. Even the facility itself recognized the incredible calming presence of the bucket, needed the soothing warmth of the bucket. Occasionally lengths not to part with the bucket. Okay, and I'm back just Got interrupted there on this end, me. But I've, well, basically I've just had to help with something, and annoyingly in the middle of a cutscene, but mind you, it's a Stanley Parable. The game is basically walking in cutscenes. 50 50 which one you're going to get caught doing. Right. No, no, no. So Stanley the bucket can't, can't leave. leave this place. Not while he has such a precious bucket in his arms. Not no. while this building has anything no. <laughs> to say about it. Stanley realized he would never again leave this very room. But at least, at least he has the bucket. To be trapped eternally in darkness <laughs> isn't really so bad, Stanley thought to himself. As long as I have my bucket with me, right? I'll be okay, won't I? Stanley gulped. Very soon now, he was about to find out. And they went absolutely nuts.
Can I just stay here? Da, 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 da. That's a no then, isn't it? Damn. I think there's an ending. It takes a lot of if you to carry a bucket <coughs> so magnificent, Stanley checked his ego and then proceeded onward. And I can't put it back actually, I didn't want to grab this. Um Begin it again. Go. I think if we just don't leave the room it should trigger another ending. From what I've seen. And then I'm gonna try the tape recording without the bucket, and then we'll collect the final collectible. And see what we get then. Do 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 do. I'm beginning to think I'm bored of waiting to see if anything happens now. <coughs> Maybe it's because we've got the whole bucket stuff activated. Maybe I have to do that like right at the beginning. But I think you can get one if you just stand there and Stanley came to a set of two open and don't this do was anything. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first right. just to admire it. In and that case, was, the lounge. But eager to get back to We're business, gonna go for the Stanley tape record the ending open door on his left. and see what it's like without the bucket, because I'm curious. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. Stanley had now gotten himself so far off the beaten path that it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed oh. the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path. That it seemed the office had begun shot so far off the beaten path. You didn't think I was actually just a recording, did you? What a silly and trite explanation that would be. All the back and forth between you and me, all the absurd adventures we've been through, and it all turns out I'm just a tape recording? It was all just in Stanley's head. I bet that's the kind of twist you think is revelatory. I bet each and every time you watch a movie where it turns out all to be in the main character's imagination, you must absolutely bolt off the couch in pure shock at the phenomenal and intricate storytelling. It must be so simple to be you. Life being an unending waterfall of surprises and delights. How much more exciting you must find the world than the rest of us do. Now I've become sad. Look what you've done to me. This is all your fault. What? <laughs> it's much better with the bucket. Yeah, the bucket makes that ending. It truly does. Oh, now we can close the door. Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> All of his co-workers were gone. Right. What could it mean? <coughs> 
Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I'm wondering how I actually no get the how hard Stanley input. looked. On. He couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Hmm. Now we do not want the bucket. The bucket stairs here right and the last thing that we need when Stanley came to a set of two open doors this final was not the way to the meeting room and Stanley knew it perfectly well it says perhaps he wanted to stop by it's the in a red first, and blue just room to admire it it was okay but eager to get back to business Stanley took the first open door on his left. Stanley was so bad at following directions, right. it's incredible he wasn't five years Let's ago. Let's go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing <laughs> your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. What? Really? I was in the middle of something. Do yep. you have zero Let's consideration go. for others? Are you that convinced <laughs> that I want something bad to happen to you? Why, I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, Here we go. Let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. There Give it is. Chance. The last and one. There it is. The last Stigly Wiggly. Stigly Wiggly. This is a real accomplishment. <laughs> this is doing something just for the sake of doing it. Where so many people expect to be rewarded for the most trivial achievements, you've insisted that a job well done is its own reward. I would tell you that I'm proud of you for collecting them all, but that would be like a reward, and we can't have that. So, instead I'll just say, it's done. We're all done here. And now we can go to whatever the hell you were doing before you hunted for figurines. Yay. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha, perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red door. All right, fine. <laughs> Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically <laughs> for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. Ooh, got a what would glitch. have made this game better? Makes what sense that this would be the room it's in. Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Yes. Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. Aha! You see, I knew I was onto something. Where do <laughs> these flashes of inspiration come from? How did I know the game needed a third door? Well, it's instinct mostly. A calling in your gut. I really couldn't say where the idea came from, except that I... I felt it in my soul. You can't teach that, Stanley. Don't even try. Here, based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. 
Ooh, magical third door. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? There was a competitive Again, leaderboard. Honest answers, please. Um, sure. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. <laughs> you wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. In this game, the uh -oh. baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. It's a very meaningful game. All about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands <coughs> of family life. I think the art world <laughs> will really take notice. <laughs> but of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh god, the button's so annoying as well. Right, well, bye baby. Did you do it because you hate babies <laughs> or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Thank Aww. you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <laughs> Yes, this seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. Um. Okay, we're going in. Ah, fascinating. Oh, what do you think this game is about, Stanley? What's our backstory? What is our motivation? Hmm. Well, it seems obvious to me that you are meant to play as a creepy man spying on innocent civilians below you from up high in your creep tower. Perhaps for some sort of twisted erotic purpose. Hmm. Yes, that must be it. What a fascinating venture into the experience of total mental depravity. So far, I love everything about this game, Stanley. And it seems there's even more. Come, let's venture outward and see what else is out there. Ooh, Firewatch is the Firewatch. <laughs> I think I remember this ending from last time, but it was not this game. Nope. I can't, can't even remember what it was that came up after that. Hmm. Anyway. Here we go. Off an ad on an adventure. Oh, no. No, 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 no. It can't be. It is. It's an open world game. Good God, quickly block it off. <laughs> oh, thank goodness, Stanley, what a close call. You really wandered off into that, that thing, that big open, just wandering around, no right or wrong directions, no path to follow. You can just go in any... Oh, thank heavens we avoided it. We're out of the woods now, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to get us out of here. Let's find another game. Preferably something with walls. Something with nice, big, insurmountable walls. <laughs> okay, I think this will be just the thing. Oh, crap. Wonderful. Um... See, this is exactly what I had in mind. Just a nice big box for you to run around in. There isn't any possibility <coughs> that you could get lost here. Now this is game design. Stanley, <laughs> if you manage to get lost in this game, I will be phenomenally impressed. Um... Okay, so what exactly do we do here? Let's see. There are lots of cars here in the back, but obviously there's no racetrack. <laughs> Okay, I'm seeing that there's a ball of some kind back here. Is this game sports ball? Stanley, I think it's sports ball. Oh, what fun. <laughs> we shall run the bases and do a touchdown together? Yes, I think surely we must. Okay, Stanley, here's the ball. Have fun. <laughs> oh, God, I can run now. Oh, no. 
Which side am I on? I don't know. Ah. <coughs> Are you doing it? Are you winning? Is this fun? Is it better than my miserable little story that I worked so hard on? Stanley, I have a thought, and I realize I'm not a sportsologist, but if one ball generates a certain amount of raw adrenal pleasure, then surely multiple balls makes for an even more euphoric sports experience. I'm going to try it out. Here comes another ball. Yes. Ooh. Oh, goodness, that really does feel amazing, doesn't it? Stanley, I'm like a child in a confectionery shop. I simply have to have up. more. I'm insatiable. More balls. Uh oh. Go? Question mark? <laughs> Are you enjoying this, Stanley? Are you having fun? <laughs> Is this a real video game? Well, I sure hope you're having a good uh, time, because guess what? It's uh, over. That's right. Oh. Your little fun comes to an end. This oh. is my game, and what I say goes. You get to have fun when I let you, Stanley. Besides, you need <coughs> someone like me to set boundaries for you. Without rules or boundaries, video games are nothing. <laughs> yes, that's what I am. I'm structure. I'm your sense of purpose. And since you decided you didn't want to play my game, now I don't want to play with you either. So, goodbye, Stanley. I'm leaving. See how you like it when I'm not around to set the rules. Somehow, I don't think you'll enjoy it as much. But who knows? You're an inventive kid. You'll come up with something. After all, you're the one who knows best. Take care, Stanley. Um, well. I guess we just sit around here forever. <coughs> Not exactly fond of Rocket League, either. So... <laughs> Hold on. What are you doing? Uh-oh. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. How will you write a story without me? You can't do it. You know that. Stanley, come back. I said I can't help you. Um... Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. This is not good. This is what happened to the last place. <laughs> We have to find ways of hiding the bodies. Mm. Not good. Well, at least we've got one light out of a dozen. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end, to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. Did we die? <laughs>
Hmm. Yeah, same with Mo. Uh. Stanley, I'm sorry, but I have to put a pause on things. It's just, it's those figurines, those figures. Uh -oh. I haven't stopped thinking about them since you nabbed every last one. <laughs> Wasn't it just the most intrinsically fulfilling moment of your entire life? Didn't it fill you to the brim with inner richness? Yes, I know we're supposed to be telling a story, but won't you please indulge me with one more trip back to the memory zone? I would love nothing more than to revisit the figurines just one more time. <laughs> We're going back into the memory zone. Now remembering what when Stanley found the collectibles. Okay. New area. Ah, here's where it all began. The first collectible. Back then, we had no idea of how many of them we'd find. <laughs> sure, it said six right there on the screen, but how could we know for certain? We were so innocent. We'll never be like that again, Stanley. What? I've got seven now. Here was a second Stan Lorene. You found this one all on your own, just by poking around in the boss's bathroom. You did that, Stanley. I'll be honest. Back then, I had no faith in you to find any of them, let alone six. But you continue to surprise me in all sorts of mundane, unremarkable ways. <laughs> Which of these rooms was the room you found your third mini stand? Can you remember? It was on the stairs, I think. No, 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 no. Under the stairs was the fourth place you found the figanley, not the third. Uh oh. Well, I guess perhaps I shouldn't be surprised. Memories like these are so precious and so cherished that they all just sort of blend together, don't they? You know what? If under the stairs feels like the third place you found a collectible, then who am I to go making judgments? Let's see. What came next? Oh, yes. We found a figly in this pink room. Oh, well, I can't actually say I remember being in this room, but it's here in the memory zone, so it must have happened. I mean, no. <laughs> okay, we're getting weird. Right. I mean, we're already kind of weird, but now it's getting really weird. This was the fifth mini stand, and this <laughs> one was really something special. It was in the warehouse. I remember it so clearly. In fact, because this one is particularly special to me, I made a little video to commemorate the occasion. Enjoy. And everyone high five. <laughs> That's why the event. Takes you back, doesn't it? I spent a lot of time making that video, but it was eight minutes I wouldn't have spent on anything else. Hmm. Right, well then. <coughs> and then, Stanley, then we came to the last collectible, the final figurine, right here by the red and blue doors. This memory is the most distinct and clear in my mind, perhaps because it was the one that happened more recently than all the others. 
who can truly say how the mind works? <laughs> All I know is that this is the moment where you picked up a figly and I thought to myself, yes, that's all of them. They're all collected. It was a moment unlike any other, <laughs> except for the other moments picking up figurines, which it was exactly like. And we went through the blue door. Not that it matters, apparently. Okay. And then there was no more, because we've caught up to the present moment. Nothing left to do but move onward into the future. Goodbye, memory zone. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I'm not done. I'm uh -oh. not ready to move on. Stop the loading screen. Isn't there some way we can stay here, keep enjoying these figurines? Let's just go backwards. We'll do the memory zone again from the opposite direction. See how that feels. The past. Oh no, the present, Simon. Right, um... Okay, yes, the room with the red and blue doors. I remember this. I must say, of all the figurines we looked at in our initial tour of the memory zone, this one is the most distinct and clear in my mind. Let's keep going, I want more. And here's where I made that video. Don't you remember the video we watched? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yes, I love that video. <laughs> okay. Still don't remember the pink room, Stanley. Still no memory of this one. Good room, though. A solid room. Definitely didn't happen, that one. These really were a treat <laughs> to hunt down. You know, if there had been any kind of reward for finding all of these, it really would have neutered the intrinsic joy of collecting them. I'm very glad we resisted the temptation. Next one. Right. I think we're closing on having done them all. Ooh. Can we get absolutely all of them? Apparently not. This was our second figly. Don't you remember? Yes, I remember it too. The past is truly a wonderful thing. Why does anyone ever choose to leave it? Keep going. This is it. The very first one we found in the exhibit where I introduced you to the figurines. Oh, I want more memories, Stanley. I want to keep going. What else is there? What came before this? Oh, look at that. So an 18 now of six. <laughs> Can you find me? Oh god. Look, it's the terrible new content that we were originally sold on. <laughs> I remember hating it back then. But time does put a rosy filter on everything. In fact, I dare say I'm actually quite fond of it now. Look how much fun the past is. I want more. More memories. Oh, yes, the two doors. Who could have forgotten that? A classic memory, this one. <laughs> and before everything else, there was your office. Is there anything else? Was there something that came before your office? There's something I feel I can remember. I can remember. I can remember. Uh oh. Yes, I'm remembering something now. I remember before this whole story got started. <laughs> Back then I was <laughs> I was different. <laughs> I used to make big decisions. I was passionate. I was skeptical. I weighed each decision with profound thoughtfulness. And then somewhere along the way I stopped making decisions. I became lazy and I came up with well, I came up with a character named Stanley to do my thinking for me. He would make the decisions, he would decide which way to go. 
I would cheer him on as he collected figurines for no reason. Why did I invent Stanley? Was I lonely? Yes, perhaps that's it. Perhaps I needed to imagine I had companionship. And Stanley really did make for a wonderful companion, even if he was a fiction. But uh, I suppose it's grown old. I, I want to think for myself again. I want to go back to how it used to be. Yes, I can be on my own again. I can do it. I'll be stronger this time. I'll take care of myself. I don't need Stanley anymore. Oh, but he truly was so much fun to play with. You know what? Since we're in the memory zone, how about one more good memory? Let's go back just once and give Stanley one more run of the office and then I'll retire him for good. I did enjoy telling this story so very much. Okay, here we go. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Are we actually retiring or is he lying? I'm not certain anymore. Hmm. Anyway, I think that's probably going to do it for this. Um, for this episode at least. Uh, may or may not bring this back. When I'm Stanley came to a set wondering of if we're running doors, out of endings. He entered the door on his left. <coughs> I think we've got all the major ones now. Right. But I might have a look, see if there's any more. Um, thank you very much for watching, though, and I'll see you, uh, if there's another episode, there's, there'll be another episode, but I think that's most, if not all, of the endings, and otherwise, there'll be other episodes of, uh, and other series on the channel, if you want to go and have a look at some of them. Thank you very much for watching, though, and I'll see you, uh, in the next, well, next, uh, video on the channel.